Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working on a Chevy Cruze, guys, and we're going to show you at what temperature your radiator fan will be activated. So, if you're wondering if the fan is working and you're going to notice if it's not, stay with us and we'll show you at what temperature a good working fan will turn on. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Why? Because we will have more than 100 videos on that engine and more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel guys and like the video, hopefully you will find the information helpful guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, we will try to make a video for your problem. Now, if you need any tools or parts that we use in the video guys, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our parts from. Now, I'm going to go inside guys and I want to show you what I have right here. Okay, we have okay right here we have the uh, scanner connected and let me show you i'll start from uh, from the beginning to show you how we are going to connect that so you plug it in okay to your obd connector right there just plug it in guys like that now we are going to go ahead and connect it if you're on the market for a good scanner this thing is amazing why because it works on any car with obd connection you can guys clear uh, and read codes from engine computer abs traction control computer airbag computer and you can see all the different functions that you have so if you're on the market for a good one guys that thing can pay itself off in one time use we're going to select engine computer okay it's connecting now so let me show you now just takes a couple couple seconds we go okay now we need to select guys the uh, module that ends with eight here usually that's the one that have all the live data for us but check the other ones it could be there as well select live data under live data now guys it's going to take a little bit of time to connect now you will notice that your temperature gauge guys always stays constant right this is because to make you feel good guys otherwise that gauge okay even though you move the coolant temperature uh, somewhere between uh, 15 to 20 degrees celsius plus or minus that gauge will stay in the middle to make you feel better guys that's how they design them so it's not moving up and down all the time unless it gets really hot then all of a sudden it will move so we're going to select complete list we will go ahead guys and open ECT this is the coolant temperature sensor one graph and now this is in Celsius if you need Fahrenheit guys uh, we'll have the conversion in the description of the video below but you can always check that and at 108 degrees check out we just have a drop guys right now at 108 degrees we have a drop that means that the radiator fan turned on okay so right here guys have the ac off why because if you have the ac on what will happen guys it will automatically turn your fan on so at 108 degrees guys celsius that fan actually did turn on okay it is a lower speed not at high speed but it did turn on at 108 celsius Fahrenheit okay uh, we're going to have the calculation in the description of the video below now let's see when it's going to turn off guys so you know at what temperature it should turn off because sometimes you may have a fan that is uh, not working correctly or just get stuck on so okay the temperature the air is unbelievable hot stay away from the fan as well not to cut your fingers body parts anything like that guys so we're waiting okay until until the temperature drops and we're going to see when that fan will turn off so it should be guys any minute now let's uh, let's check now what i'll do guys okay let me just grab the computer so i can pull it through the window so we can keep eye on it okay check out our coolant it keeps dropping it's 95 degrees guys Ninety-five degrees, right there. So it still keep dropping. Ninety-four. Fan is still on. Okay, it started climbing a little bit, but the thermostat is closed now. Ninety-six. So we're just waiting, guys, to see. Okay, when the fan will turn off. It's still on at ninety-seven. So it may take a while, 98, and the way we're climbing, I think we're going to reach that temperature again, okay, pretty soon, by the way. Okay, the fan, guys, 
He's still going, still going strong. 99, so which means that the radiator is warm. And the air that I get, okay, it feels super warm. So how we can confirm that? Let me, let me get a, a temperature gun, guys. Okay, give me just a second. I'll get a temperature gun. Okay, this is a temperature gun, guys. And we're going, we're going to check what temperature we get out of the fan in Celsius. 50 degrees, 53 on the air, guys. 57, so that radiator is pretty hot. Okay, that's why that fan is still on. So, let's see if it's going to turn off now. You can see here it's at 100 degrees. So at 108 is when that fan did turn on. Now, my question is, is it going to turn off at all? Now outside, right now, it's super hot at the shop, so that's not helping, but in cold weather, you will be able to cool everything super fast and it will turn off. Let me show you now, temperature-wise at the shop right now, guys. Okay, at the shop, on the car even. Today was, a, it was super hot. Fahrenheit was 100 degrees. Right now it's 37 and it's still dark 99, guys. Hot summer day, what to tell you. But you can see it's cooling. So when it turns off, I'm going to continue. So after a while guys, it did turn off at about 98, 99 degrees, but the radiator got cool to the point it's about 40 degrees Celsius, and now it's off guys. So you can see at 108 Celsius, that's when your fan will turn on. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time.